we called it, that's called a shortcut. What's up, guys? What's up, three teachers making the mix? I love that. Audience is looking good. And welcome in from home. I can't wait because today we have the students and we have our teachers from St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia, and they came to rock today in the classroom. Hey, today, you know what it is. It's the show that puts students versus their favorite teachers. And can you believe who showed up to support them? Look at this crowd. Yes. Today, as always, it's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights. Before we even get to these contestants, we're calling it right now. It's time for a pop quiz. Okay, teams, grab your buzzers. We got a hefty crowd and they're ready to see a game, so let's play. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is gonna bank you 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer if you get the question wrong. Somebody on the other side can actually buzz in, gonna have a chance to steal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. What Louisa May Alcott novel tells the story of the four March sisters growing up during the Civil War? Zephaniah. Little Women. Absolutely, student strike first. What is the day the stock market crashed in 1929, often referred to as? Mr. Anhold. Uh, the day of the crash market is about Black Friday. Students for the steal. No guess. We're looking for Black Tuesday. That Black Tuesday. What is the square root of 64? Zephaniah. Eight. Good. What is the name of the female character who works for Progressive and helps people with their insurance in the company's commercials? Riley. Flav. There it is. Swan Lake and the Nutcracker are famous examples of what kind of theatrical performance that tells a story through precise dance steps, music, and costumes? Zephaniah. Ballet. Ballet is right. You guys are killing it. How many main layers of skin does a human have? Mr. Maslick. Two. For the steal. Zephaniah. Four. I'm going to split the difference there. We're going to go with three. What is the birthstone for April? Mrs. Ellis. Diamond. That's a beautiful stone. Tyra Banks <laughs> plays a doll named Eve in what Disney Channel movie that received a sequel in 2018? Riley. Life size. Good. The Cubs and the White Sox are two MLB teams that represent what city? Mr. Anholt. Chicago. Chi Town. What is the capital of Alabama? Mrs. Ellis. Montgomery. Good. What is the first and last name of the artist who sings the 2015 inspirational hit, Fight Song? Riley. Rachel Platten. Good. And that is it. What a round. Both sides catching fire there. Let's take a look at our score. Students coming out of there in the lead with 60 points. Teachers with 30. Man, we're off to a great start. I'm so glad you guys are here because today we are highlighting the students and the teachers from St. Hubert Catholic High School for girls right here in Northeast Philadelphia. Home of the Bambies. Now that is a mascot. And I saw the Bambi in the crowd. This guy was jumping around out there. That's a really cool mascot. But speaking of cool, I got three awesome contestants right here. Welcome on the show. Thanks for having us. Are you kidding me? I, I wouldn't miss you guys. I've heard about this school. I've heard about some of the great things you guys are doing, so I'm pumped to see you here today. You have three awesome teachers over there. If you guys win that $500, where it's going to go? It's going to our campus ministry to help girls go on Kairos. Awesome. And that would be like um, kind of you guys getting out of, out of the school, going on different retreats. Where is the retreat? St. Francis and Retreat House. Perfect. And I heard Riley say it this morning. She says, it's so fun there. So that $500 is super important. Uh, all right. Steph and I, you are a 12th grader. Yeah. Guys, I can't wait to tell you this because just a few <laughs> weeks ago, you got your acceptance letter for college as a 12th grader. We know this is what it's all about. Where are you going? The University of Pennsylvania. Nice job. That's what's up. Nice destination will be right here in Philly, which is exciting. What are you going to study? Psychology. All right. Well, good luck. That's so Thank good you. to see you. Rachel, 12th grader. This team is like all the smartest team I've ever seen, and they're cool, but <laughs> one school is not enough for her. You have to choose two schools. Tell us what you do. So I'm a Diocesan Scholar, and that means like I spend my mornings at college at Holy Family University, and then after that I go back to St. Hubert's. So you're literally going to college and high school at the same time. Yeah. I was lucky to show up for first period, and you're going to two schools yeah. in one. That's incredible. Well, Rachel, hopefully that helps you today, you. those college skills. And Riley. 
12th grader. Oh, and by the way, great entrance coming out of there. No one's ever taken the spot, but if we need it again, you were excellent. So uh, this is cool because St. Hubert's Welcome Wagon, A.K. Riley, tell these guys what you do. Um, I'm the vice president of St. Hubert's Family Ambassadors, which is kind of like the face of St. Hubert's, outside of St. Hubert's, and we try to recruit younger grades to try and come to St. Hubert's. Well, I, I'll tell you what, your school's fantastic. We have three awesome students here today playing on behalf of that whole student body, $500 for their treat. Beat these teachers over here. Look in the mix, three awesome teachers, five hundred dollars. Where's that going? Uh, it's going to go to our faculty scholarship fund, which is uh, we, money we raise that, that eventually goes back to the students. So even as teachers, you win. It's still the students are still winning. I love <laughs> yes. that, guys. All right, you were almost the next Emerald Lagasse, right? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I was uh, the first runner up for the show, Chop. So I almost got on, but all four, four other people showed up. So. What uh, what would you have made? I don't know. They give you a random basket, so you have to just kind of figure out something with what they give you. All so right. Well, hopefully you can figure out a win today, my man. Hopefully. Good to see you. Mrs. Ellis, phys ed teacher, also a house flipper. Did you just raise the roof, my girl? Okay. <laughs> I love that. So your house flipper, what's the number one uh, thing you could tell anyone that's looking to uh, say, all right, I'm going to make some extra money. I'm going to buy an extra house and flip it. I would have to say luck. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> no skill whatsoever. You just need a house that doesn't have mold in it. All right, Mr. Anholt, good to see you. History teacher, also refing basketball is a big time. You love refing? I love refing. I probably ref five or six times a week. What probably about the guys in the, in the, like, the, they're like, ref, you stink. Do you take that personally? Uh, no, I try not to, but they yell every game. Because I didn't mean it when I said it on Wednesday. That was my bad, but my son wasn't that's, doing I saw that you well. There. I saw uh, you yeah. there. Well, listen, hopefully you guys do well today. I got three great kids over here that says you guys are going to detention. We're going to find out right now. And before you tweet me, I wasn't at his game refing, okay? So save the tweets. I'm a nice, I'm a nice audience member. I would have said, nice call, referee. That was a great call. Teams, put your buzzers down. You guys aren't going to need them for this one. Here's how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. So teachers, we're going to start with you on this one. You're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass it over here to the kids. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention, but if you get it wrong, be ready because you can send one of them. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody from the other side to detention is going to get 40 points. So students, you could take a commanding lead, or teachers, you can come rolling right back. And we're going to start with you. How do you feel about the category of famous leaders? Famous leaders. They're definitely going to know it. Well, we, could, yeah. we should keep, keep it. We'll keep it. Who was the famous French military leader and emperor who was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo? Napoleon. 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 Napoleon is right. That's going to get you on there. I just saw three defeated young ladies look at all each other go, I guess who's going? So guys, you got to make a decision here. Oh, Zephaniah, please. Zephaniah, our pen major is out of there. Team captain. Rachel Riley, you guys are still in the mix. Category goes to you guys. How do you feel about science? Yeah, I guess, yeah. What is the term for substances or materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through them? Yeah. Conductor. Conductor's right. Great answer. Bailing into two minds. Zephaniah, I saw a little smile out of you like, girls, you got this. Let's go. All right, conductors is right, which means one of these teachers has to join Zephaniah in detention. Who's that going to be? Mr. Maz. <laughs> Mr. Maz, out of there. Mr. Maz, look, join in detention. And he's doing it with a smile on his face, so we love that. Two teachers, two students. Category goes back to you guys. How do you feel about music? Uh-oh. We wish we had Maz here. Yeah. Um, Pass it. Yeah. We'll pass it. Pass. Yeah. Haley Williams is the lead singer of what band with hit songs Hard Times and Ain't It Fun? Paramore. Wow. Rachel apparently loves the band. She didn't even look at Riley. Paramore is right. And the pass comes back to bite the teachers. You hate to see when that happens. One of these teachers has to go. Anholt. Yeah, Anholt. <laughs> Mr. Anholt, out of the mix. Sorry, pal. You're done. And then there was one Mrs. Ellis. If there's ever a teacher to keep smiling through this, it's going to be you. So keep it up here because the category is going to go over to them. So stay tuned. Your category is math. Yeah. We'll take it. In a coordinate graph, what is the term for the points where a line meets or crosses the horizontal and vertical axis? 
to the classroom, everybody. Today we have the students and teachers from St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia. You guys know it. They're going head-to-head, -head, teachers versus students, and you're not going to believe who's in the lead right now. Students crushing it, 100 points on the board. Teachers with 30, they're still trying to get this car going, and we're going to give them an opportunity right here because we're moving into spell check next. <laughs> As always, here's how the game works. We have two minutes on the clock during spell check. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates everybody from the other side, you're going to get 30 points for winning that round. But if the clock runs out on that two minutes, each player left standing is going to get 10 points just for making it through the round. Let's play spell check. We're going to start with our students here in the lead. Your first word is layer. L-A-Y-E-R. Way to break the ice there. Mr. Maz, Young. Young, Y-O-U-N-G. Theme. T-H-E-M-E. -E. Explain. E-X-P-L-A-I-N. Obeyed. O-B-E-Y-E-D. Good job, Riley. Insecure. I-N-S-E-C-U-R-E. -E. You seemed insecure about the answer, yeah. but you were right. <laughs> Warrant. W-A-R-R-A-N-T. Good job. Gratuity. G-R-I. Sorry, but out of that one. That one looked uh, like a tough one to get there. Zealous. Z-E-L-L-I. Z-E-A. Sorry, Rachel. Down to two aside here. Burglary. B-U-R-G-L-A-R-Y. Stays in. Scaffold. S-C-A-F-F-O-L-D. Nomadic. N-O-M-A-D-I-C. Plaintiff. P-L-A-I-N-T-I-F-F. -F. Good job. Moving on to that second card here. Extortion. E-X-T-O-R-T-I-O-N. Wow. Jeopardize. G E. Um. She knew it as soon as you said it. Down to our last speller over here. Precipitate. P R E C I P A T E. Down to one a piece, Mrs. Ellis for Sephania. Your next word is equivalent. E Q U I V A L E N T. Spectacular. Spectacular. S P E C T A C U L A R. Wow! She spells words fast, apparently. Mrs. Ellis, in a nutshell. What a round! We had two awesome spellers left, which means we're giving 10 points a side. Scores 110 students, 40 for the teachers. It's anybody's game. We're not done yet. We're having an awesome one here today. We're taking a field trip next. We're gearing up for that final exam at the end. The classroom's still in session when we come back. Good job, guys. What a spelling round. you bring a dough into the audience, I'm on board with. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia. I had to see what's going on out here, and it looks like you guys are having a pretty good time, yeah? All right, Aaron Bree, we got a big time game ahead of us right now. Students are in the lead, 110. To our teachers, 40, so it's still anybody's game. But I had to talk about you guys for a second. You're five-time national cheer champs, right? Yeah. What's it like to have that, a cheer program that good? It's a lot of hard work. Yes. Yeah, a lot of hard and we have another national championship in the bag this year? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well listen, we got hopefully you guys winning something and not to mention our students hopefully pulling that through to beating those teachers today, right? Definitely. All right, and we have our we have our dough and what's your name? 
Victoria. Victoria, you kind of make sure the dough stays because the dough can get out of line sometimes. Yeah. Well, and especially with a game like today, do you think that students can hold on? Yeah, definitely. Uh, now, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys are all coming with me. We're hopping on the bus. You can join too. It's time to take a field trip. <laughs> Champions. That's incredible, guys. Keep up the good work. Teams, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them for this one. Today, we're taking a field trip to the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University to see how much you know about gorillas. Ooh, good animal, good animal. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is going to win 10 points for their team. You buzz in, you get it incorrect as per usual. The other team can buzz in and steal those points. You guys are going to love this one because I love her. Fox 29 meteorologist Kathy Orr. She's the best in the business. She's asking the questions today. Here's Kathy. Hi, Richard. Today we're talking about gorillas. Here's question number one. Gorillas mostly move around by positioning their body weight onto the ground using what part of their hands? Riley buzzes in first. Their knuckles. Knuckles is right. There's 10 more points for you guys. Walking around on the knuckles was the correct answer. And Kathy has another one for us. What's next? Now for question number two. What enormous fictional gorilla was most recently seen on Skull Island and will square off against Godzilla in a new movie in 2020? Mrs. Alice rang in yesterday. The answer? <laughs> King Kong. King Kong is right. Nicely done. She knew that one right away. She said, I'm not wasting any time, Richard. I'm not wasting any time. Hey, don't waste any time on this next one because we're jumping on the bus. Question number three. Now for question number three. A female gorilla named Coco is known for having learned what means of communication that is also used by people who are hearing impaired. No one waits around here. Everyone just says, no, but play him now. Riley, you think you know it? Sign language. Sign language is right. Hey, newsflash, they always do know it. We got some smart people here today. I'll tell you what, Kathy Orr, we want to thank you for leading our field trip today. You do a great job taking us on some really cool journeys. And speaking of journeys, we're in one right here. Students are looking to take the win today. Guys, 130 points is banked for you. Teachers with 50, and we're going right into our final exam. Let's go. Okay, the topic of today's final exam is all in a day's work. That means each question is related to jobs. I'm going to ask both teams three questions, guys, so be prepared for our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be with 100 points. Teams are going to work together during the commercial break. As a team, you'll come up with your answers. No writing quite yet. First, I've got to give you these questions. Here's the first question. In the traditional Superman stories, the hero's alter ego, Clark Kent, has what day job? Question number two. In the novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, what is Atticus Fitch's profession? Finally, Kat Sutton and Jane are the three best friends who work for Scarlet Magazine in what freeform TV series? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds on the clock to talk about it, come together, and see if three brains can equal 300 points to get them that $500 and rank first right here in the classroom. So stay tuned. Come on back. But guys, these three right here can be you. How do you do it? Check it out. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. They're going head-to-head. -head. Students, nice job so far. 130 points for you guys banked. Teachers, looking to get it going here in the final exam. 50 points on the board for you guys. And we know 300 points on the board. Someone's going home victor today. The top of today's final exam is all in a day's work. That means all these questions have something to do with jobs and the answers. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions related to certain jobs in that. So don't forget, guys, each correct answer, 100 points. Let's do it. We're going to get right into question number one. In the traditional
fictional Superman stories. The hero's alter ego, Clark Kent, has what day job? Mr. Anhalt, we're going to start with you. You're behind. Reporter. There's 100 points for you guys. Absolutely bringing you up to 150. Riley. Newspaper journalist. We're going to take it. Nicely done. That's exactly what a reporter is. Moving into question number two in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird. What is Atticus Finch's profession? Mrs. Ellis. Lawyer. There's 100 for you. 250 to take the lead. Uh -oh. Rachel, that looks like a frown. Did you say lawyer? Lawyer. They did say lawyer. Moving in, Kat, Sutton, Jane are the three best friends who work for Scarlet Magazine in what freeform TV series? Mr. Maz, let's see what you said. We had no idea. We put The Devil Wears Prada. Students, <laughs> Zeph and I, you said. It's even a show. So we have two different answers for the game. The answer is the bold type, which means they were both incorrect. Students are our big winners with 330 points. Treat fun. I'm so happy you guys are here. Join us next time on The Classroom. Whoa! Good job. Taking it home.